One of the key elements of any authentication scheme is the usage of passwords. We use passwords all over in our 48. We use it when we configure new users. We use it when we configure our admin profiles. We also use it when we configure SSL or IPsec VPNs. We use passwords all over. We will look at password entropy. How random or how difficult it is to predict your password. Let's start. So an entropy in plain words is the difficulty in guessing a password either in a brute force attack or a dictionary attack. Now, how do you calculate entropy? Well, you do it using the length of your password, the complexity of your password. Are you using uppercase characters, lowercase, or maybe you're using uppercase and lowercase? Are you using symbols? Are you using numbers? The more complex your password is, there is much more entropy. And the last parameter is the randomness of your password. The more random it is, it adds up more entropy. Now, randomness is an issue when it comes to computers, since computers can actually generate a pseudo-random numbers. All right, so let's look at an entropy example, and things will be much more clearer. So we are calculating entropy using the following formula. H equals L. L is the length of your password. H is the total binary bits of an entropy. Entropy is calculated using bits. And N is the number of possible symbols in a password. So a password length of eight characters from the entire alphabet, that is uppercase, lowercase, symbols, and numbers, will get us to an entropy of 2 to the 52. So this password has about 52 bits of entropy, and it is a strong password. The higher your password entropy, the less predictable your password patterns are for a computer. As far as password, 36, 37 bits of entropy are rather good. Another example is when we use a key lock that has only 10 digits, that is 0 to 9. So if we use only 5 characters, you know what, if we use 4 characters, we usually use 4 characters as our passwords in a, a Panlock keypad. So that is 10 to the power of 4. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. So the key space of the password is 10,000 passwords. If we use 5 characters out of the 10 digits, it is 10 to the power of 5, which is uh, only 100,000 passwords. And the entropy is only 16 bits. So this is not a good password in the digital world. It may be a good one in the physical world. If we use only lower letters uh, in the English alphabet, we have 26 letters in the English alphabet, and we use a password of seven characters. That is 26 to the power of seven, it gets us to a total of 8.3 billion passwords. The entropy there is 32 bits only, so still it is not a good password. If we use uh, 8 characters out of the 26, that is 26 to the power of 8, we have 208 billion possibilities, that's the key space, the entropy is 37, which is quite good, 
though nowadays we use passwords with a more complexity that is using the uppercase and the lowercase plus numbers and symbols.